Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Pop Dota 2 with uh, me, Kutsukista. And let's just get started. Oh, there we go, and I'm gonna speed things up a bit. I think this should do it. If the game doesn't break down. There we go. So. And just let's do this. Okay. So let's introduce the radiant side. We have what the fuck is this kind of name? Jesus Christ. Zboy Perkrai Anik, what the fuck is this? And then we have Gogaphob on Blonde Root. Retro Rocket on Shadowfront. Badumble on Grow Ranger. And you are missing the fifth guy. So in the meantime let's check the there are side Pitbull on Keeper of the Light. Me on Clockwork. Dude and Dead. Um, dead also known as Bliatko Sukic. Uh, so on Alchemist and on Earthshaker. And here we have a little bit of pause. So let's put things up a bit again. There we go. So last for us is Dolphin on Legion Commander and VN MD on one. Uh, Ogre Magi. I I don't know, this name's seriously I think how half of these people are Russians. This dude should be Russian. Sboy Pray Manik what the fuck? And he's a Lance fanboy as well. Because of the A. Maybe. I don't know. So, Ogre Magi and the Phantom Lancer on the bottom lane going against uh Give Me Mana. Uh, Laundroid is gonna go on in the jungle. I'm going to go against Shadow Friend on the mid lane. Uh, this is I, I don't usually play middle lane. I'm terrible at it. I know I'm terrible. I could have denied that, but I didn't. I was stupid. But I did succeed in bringing down his mana bit and missing another last hit. I was bad in this game in the beginning. Uh, so Dolphin is gonna go in the jungle farm that shit. We have Dead and Earthshaker, I mean Earthshaker and Alchemist on the top lane versus Draw which should be pretty much pretty easy lane. Oh, so let's check what's happening here. So for some reason I have wards on me, myself. Somebody gave it to me. Probably Cottle. Give me mana. So last hits. Laundroid, of course, leading because he's jungling like a fuck. Cole has 6 0, and that's nice for him because he's so late. And this is not an easy lane. They can actually kill him pretty much easily. This plus this, that's 180 damage. And if they put this shit on him, and we have first blood that I missed, so let's check what happened here. Oh! That's... You don't go here when you know there's an enemy jungler and they have two stunners. Dro, you should just survive, don't be greedy fuck. I mean, I, I don't know what the fuck is, what was he doing here. He shouldn't be there. In the meantime... I'm... And now we lose call. And I miss again. I'm, I'm terrible at this. Yeah, they, they did what I said before. So they stun him, they stun him again, they threw two of those things like, yeah, two spirit lances and two fire blasts, and it's over, man. It's over. I mean, it's seven second cooldown and full second cooldown. So if you initiate with this, throw this, and another this, and you, it's dead. And everybody's dead. Special call on the solo. There we go. No more mana for Shadowfriend. And no more HP for Shadowfriend as well. In the meantime, I sh my ball should be arrived. Oh, it's not arriving yet, but it doesn't matter. It's a good thing that this Shadowfriend doesn't know how to play because I would have lost it, like, so bad. It's not even fun. 1k gold. I, I don't know what, what was he trying to do, but yeah. Yeah, nice miss. 
has some tangos I can get hit. So I pretty much want this lane because he is out of everything. He has ball now, but yeah. That's like a late ball. He has more last hits and everything, but yeah. And I kinda fucked up this. Too. And I missed. In the meantime, top lane, they were trying to gank uh, Draw Ranger again, but she was too far away. Jungling. And I should be getting my ball soon, so yeah, no, there we go. We don't have upgrade courier for some reason, so that's not nice. And he has boots, so yeah. But I don't need boots. I'm clockwork. And now I have haste room. I love clockwork. Uh, first time I played it, I had like, I don't know, 15, 5, 35, I don't know. And yeah, here's it now. I have my haste rune and he should be pretty much dead. I can do whatever I want. I can die. I can fuck him up. If he did through uh, Shadow Rays, I maybe could have died, but... Nah, I wouldn't. I would be alive on 70 HP. But yeah. I did kill him. Thankfully... <laughs> and I didn't have any boots. I had haste rune and... Yeah. Good thing I had haste rune. So now I'm trying to rotate bomb. Or I was trying to check room, but I didn't check the... Doesn't matter. I won the middle lane. I'm happy. Yeah, Kolo is gonna have a hard try time on ball, and we see Phantom Lancer with drums already. He went straight drums. And yeah, I could have died here. Mm, so nothing's really happening, and yeah, I fucked up. Uh, I think I cannot be in on this lane anymore. So yeah. This is actually a good thing, he's gonna miss a room. trying to gank him up, but he knows I have in his room and he can be easily killed. I don't know if he can see us. Oh, he can. So they have zero vision on the map. I didn't have mana, and yeah, uh, I w we tried, but I didn't have mana to do the shit that I could have done too bad. And he actually split him in the wrong way, which is too bad. Technically, we could have killed it, but our execution was a bit off in here. I did stun him. If he was like here, we could have killed And they, uh, and again, they killed him. Mental answer killing Arkel, so offlane for offlaner. Bit. And what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? And now I'm moving both right for bottom room. And now it's top. Yeah. Fuck. As you can see, I don't have that much CS. I'm not really good on mid lane, but. 
How should I say it? Well, I fucked up. I have my two items. I have my chain mail, which is actually for the blade mail. I do believe that blade mail is really, really useful against clock, especially with initiation on them. And I, I really love blade mail. On them. I mean, what can you do? You go on him. You he cannot ult. He can. He cannot do check shit. If he tries to ulti, my sec my first better assault is gonna like stun him. And I receive rotation by Ogre Magi. And yeah. Oh th that's uh Shadow Friend rotation as well. here. Good awareness from these two. And now they are going on them. Or not, they are retreating. Too bad. So, Lundruid is rotating mid. I'm still not rotating around as I should, but well. We shall see. Dude is gonna run out, and this is actually a pretty neat fight. They tried something, but good rotation from Leech Commander did its work, and there we go. Technically, I shouldn't have done that, but because if I didn't, I could have ca caught this dude, which is too bad. Too bad, but yeah, better save than sorry. And <laughs> nice hit. Give me mana, Kotl. See, he gave his mana to him. Oh well. We're still winning, so this is actually a good thing for us, and... Oh no. Too bad. So Kotal abandoned his bottom lane because he can't do jack shit anymore and he's trying to help me win the mid lane which is good rotation for me and he's shutting down Shadowfriend and now he gives me mana and I can do this see I can just dive and I can kill him and nothing can really happen this chainmail is actually really neat so yeah I just want my runes, and there we have it, illusion rune. And we can see top lane. Nice stun, and this should be too bad, too bad, but yeah, we can see here again. Uh, Cole, I was born la lane, and Kotal made me come up, so we could kill, draw, and that's really neat feature. A lot of people don't um, really appreci appreciate Cole that much, but he actually has a really amazing nuke, which is 500 damage, and in terms of split pushing power, he's amazing, because you can be on the other map, and then he can call you in. So you don't need to be like a nature's prophet, or I don't know, whatever, you can just go in and he can call you to the other lane and you can basically do anything. In the meantime we see Shadow Friend going Shadow Amulet. Um, 
I think this is a mistake, but okay. I already have my 700 gold, and that's uh, pretty much good. So we see Londroid going Radiance. I don't like Radiances on Londroid. I just don't like them. I was trying to scout if the Londroid is here, but yeah. And I have my blade mail. And that almost died on the blade. And I missed. Cha fuck. But even if I missed <laughs> it's not like I can die. There we go. And dude should die. Too bad. But three for one, I would say a good payoff. In the meantime, we are losing Bottom Tower to Phantom Lancer. If I... I should have fall bomb. I wasn't sure how long uh, it, it will take. But oh well. We're still winning this game, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's 3-11. Check some of the stats. Network. Legion Commander leading the board with 8k. So, yeah, his farm is pretty neat. Alchemist and 0.5k, and... <laughs> I won mid lane, so fuck it. And this is not good for him. But he has Shadow Blade, so it's okay, I guess. Experience graph, we are well ahead. Gold, as well, which is surprising because, well, no, well, it's not really surprising. We have Alchemist with max out Gruul's Greed, and we have Midas, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And they have warded everything, <laughs> which is funny as hell. if we can get a glimpse of on him. But yeah. There's there goes Roche, so it's pretty good. We can have even more money. Last hit. We're not leading uh, but we are overall pretty much uh, good so I have 401 and Legion 402 and Alchemist 206 well they did kill only three times so it's pretty good but yeah Another tower bites dust and it's nothing they can do about it. Or there's nothing they can do about it. I think it's how it's pronounced. Oh, that's mad. So Alchemist has a soul caress. Shadow Blade completed on Shadow Friend, but yeah.
E Jesus Christ, I almost got him. That was really close. And now we can kill the tower. And we can actually, I think, go for tier 3, so... Or maybe not. And now Dolphin is gonna die. But yeah, he has ages. And the chick has his blink. 11 minutes into the game. And now you will see me doing something really interesting. Boom, hook, and yeah, it's. I did manage to call him, but I will die. See? Radiance is paying off, but. We did get like 300 gold, but he did get 600 gold. Oh well, shit happens guys, shit happens, I did something stupid, but I did call them. I didn't know he did have TP or something like that, but better safe than sorry. Um, te technically we could have killed them without me dying, but I was a bit greedy. But I did manage to land that hook. So. And I was blind. And now I'm going to build into Agonim Scepter. This is my standard build Blade Mail, Part Red, Spall, Stout, Point Booster. This, this is really my standard build. I always build it. It's not always in that order but it depends on the situation. If I'm doing really good... Shit. Well, Draw Ranger is pretty much feeder. 0, 6, 1. You don't go with Draw Ranger solo offline. Technically, uh, PL could have gone solo bot and Draw and Ogre Magic could have gone top. That would be better laning way better especially with call being so bot so yeah and we have uh, nice words so we can see a lot of happening on the map but so can they supports doing their job And we don't have a courier. Why? When did the courier die? Shit happens. Maybe he's going blade mill. I don't know. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, we did lose Korea. What was in the Korea? Oh, it was full desolator. Oh my god, that was a nice Korea kill. Full deso. Oh, Legion Commander. Mm, there you have PL on the top lane. calling dude and and I call him and kill him and there goes their PL, PL the, their main carry I should say so because Shadowfriend doesn't have anything except Shadowblade Shadowblade on Keeper of the Light. 
That's funny. Here. Draw Ranger feeding like hell. 071. This is pretty bad. <laughs> nice ulti. And this is actually where these cogs are actually really, really nice because they split them apart. They really split them apart. So Shadow Friend was over here with his ulti, not doing anything, and we split them. I must say that was really good placement of cogs for me. It's not that I'm bragging. I'm just saying that it split them apart. Even if it didn't, third shaker would have like boom, chaka boom, and like killed everything. Then that would be game over as well. And there goes their tower. And there it goes dead. I didn't want to commit. I was having eggs brought, in, brought over. So shadow blade, shadow blade, shadow blade. A lot of shadow blades and yeah, now he sees that they have the ward here. They actually have a lot of wards, man. A lot of wards. Where's that bottom? Fantasy points, yeah, right. So, yeah. 50k Legion Commander leading the charge. And yeah, again missed something that shouldn't have missed because I was watching something else. Let's see how this happened. Oh, pretty easy. There we go. There we go. He had dust and everything, so... Yeah, good, lu good luck, Phantom Lancer. Good luck. So Rush is spawning soon, and Yellow Drone being pain in the ass with uh, the Spirit Bear. But yeah, Rocket players. Crystal is being completed, so this Legion Commander is gonna hit even harder. He almost has full Daedalus. That's insane. <laughs> and they're going undead. And dead is dead. I mean, dude is dead. Sorry. Dude dead, what the fuck. But it's not something we should worry about. Gold graph. I mean, experience graph. Almost 20k, almost 20k, and gold graph, 12k. So yeah, good luck with that, guys, good luck with that. And I just barely missed again with this hook, too bad. So I missed like two hooks this game. Or three. Actually, it was three. 
Just one in the middle lane, one on the bottom lane, and one over here now. And there we go. <laughs> here we go, blade mail going to the work. Ah, too bad. He got away. We did manage to, like, almost kill everybody. Well, we didn't kill anybody. What the fuck? It was Legion Commander killing PL on the top lane. What the fuck? We didn't have dust. That was the main problem. So here we have a mid fight trying to see what's gonna happen. But yeah, if I didn't have that blade mail, I could have died back there. So there we go, blade mail really paying off. There we go. Killing everything, and that is gonna die. Well, Dolphin is gonna die as well. And they're almost getting killed. I didn't know if somebody was here, so... Jesus fuck, that's fourth miss. I almost got it. But, yeah. I had 300 HP. And we did manage to wipe them out, which is a good team fight for us. And as you can see, everything happened so fast, I didn't have time to react. Guys, this was like... Insane play by, by us. I did manage, if you saw, I hooked like here. And again, they were split apart, so... Good thing with Clock is to always try to split the enemy apart so you can fight 2 on 4, I mean 4 on 2 and stuff like that. Even if you sacrifice yourself, that's I think good strategy. You can also group them up and stuff like that. I could have jumped over here where when Ogre Magia and Shadowfriend were like here together. I could have jumped in, but I didn't. I was trying to bait them out a bit far further. I was letting them go further. If I jumped straight in, I could have died immediately. But yeah, uh, this was actually a really decent fight. Even if they defended that tower, we didn't lose. We only lost Legion Commander, and they lost everything. But we didn't finish our objective, which was the tower. I have my Reaver, I have a lot of HP now, and this is not something you see very often, Butterfly on Alchemist, he hits like an idiot now. And it's not like they have MKB on them, zero MKB, so yeah, good luck with that. And we are now gonna push again. And does this dude have TP? Yeah, he has TP. So I'm again going on this position because it gives me a lot of stuff and I hooked on the retro rocket. And bomb that. Who had dust? I had dust. Oh, nice. Another hook. Kill. And we pretty much won this game. That was like, yeah. GG guys, that was GG. And uh, he's trying to push the top, and there we go. No bear for you, because he did ulti the bear just to kill him. And we're just gonna troll it, and it's pretty much our. This was actually a really fast game, and yeah. We did win, so that's it. Hope you had fun uh, me playing with uh, this clock. In the end, I had 11.15, but it, I did what clock did. Does have to do so.
Yeah, sorry for my rusty English. Uh, my name was Kurtzakista and this was mid-clock. There we go. Uh, until next time, see ya.